Hi, my name is Ram and welcome to Uploading Files with Vue.js and Express series. In this episode, we're going to talk and learn about image processing. Usually it's a very good idea if you're handling any kind of image uploading to process these images on the server for your user. That's a good user experience. So for example, if I'm on iPhone and I just have this two or three megabytes photo and I upload it, I usually expect that application will handle it and resize it and make it safe. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Before we begin, just a quick note that if you don't want to wait for another episode to be published, you can go to the gsfullstack.com and purchase the series as pay what you want model as a way to support my work in this channel. Thanks. Of course, we handle images on the server, and for that we need to use some kind of a image processing library. And there are a lot of options out there, one of the most popular one is ImageMagick, but for Node.js there is a very cool, very simple to use um, library called Sharp that we're going to use in this episode. Okay, so this we're going to reuse our drop zone here, and drop zone API endpoint as well. So on the client side, we will not change anything, except maybe we will render the image itself a little bit later. But on the server side, let's go back here, we will back to upload middleware. So let's delete this pure upload stuff. So we will have the upload single file. Let's get the limit to 10 megabytes. And that will do it. Okay, so let's install Sharp. Uh, for that, let's go to Terminal and let's yarn add Sharp. Of course, you can use any kind of library, but for that, you will need to read through the documentation and learn its API. Okay, great, it's done. So let's go back to our code. Let's import our uh, Sharp from Sharp. And also, we will need to have the file system so we will require file system from file system. Okay, so now in the drop zone here, we will do the image processing. So again, I will use a sync await. So I will define this callback function as a sync. And then I will have try and inside of it, I will have a wait. Because Sharp works with promises. So the first thing that we need to provide to Sharp is the file itself. And we already know that because of the multi, we have the file uploaded and inside of the request, we have the file itself. So the file object. So we'll have request file dot path. So that's just the path to our file that we want to process. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to resize this image, say to 300. So usually what you do, you specify width and height. And if you specify only width, like in this case, you the height will be changed proportionally. After that, I will just add the background to white. So if while we have some processing, we have some edges or empty space, it will be white. And also I will have the amped option as well to save the proportions. So these are just the API of the Sharp library, which you can learn on the on its documentation, basically. So at the end, when we're done with that, we want to save it to a file. So for that, we use to file method and we specify the file name where we want to save it. So let's save it to static files, to static folder with the name of request file original name. Okay, so this code is just making the, just resizes the image and saves it in the original name. And after we've done that, we want to delete the original one. We do not need it anymore. That's why I required file system. So fs file system unlink, that's like delete file. And we delete request file path. And when it's done, we respond that, hey, everything's cool. We have file and here is the link to this file. It's, it's in static in request file original name. Of course, you can extract it into the variable. If something goes wrong, we'll catch it. And we respond with status, with error status and the JSON error equals error, basically. Okay, like this. But to display this image, we need to serve the static folder 
from our server. For that we need to use this static middleware that is part of the express. So if we go to the top here, let's add app.use and we mount it on static API and we use express.static and now we need to specify the path to the static folder and we do it with the path join current dear name and then we specify that that's a static folder and we need to include path so we require it from path that's the standard node.js libraries so now when we go back to our client you can see here so when we successfully uploaded the image or the file we just push it to uploaded files but now there's not going to be a file there's going to be this uh, urls or paths to images that we can use to render images so now here instead of this content stuff instead of this unordered list let's add columns so we'll have columns is multi-line that's very easy way to do several rows without even thinking about how many they will be. The Bulma will do it for you. So here we'll have the column is four. So we'll have three columns in one row. And here we define that we want to iterate through file in uploaded files. And when we use in four, we should use key. So that's going to be just the file itself. And remember file in our case is actually path to the image so maybe we should rename it so here in figure we have the class image and inside of it we'll have image itself and in source we'll use file and that's how we just basically display or render the images that we just uploaded so let's try it out Uh, we have an error. It's not a very good error because we do not have any kind of information. So let's go back to um, server. And I think we need to create the static folder. So we'll just create static here. And let's try it again. So I'm going to get the image. And here we go. It, it works. So and as you can see, it has been resized. So if I try to do another one. It will be uploaded and it will be the same width, but the height will of course differ. Nice, we process images and then we save it in the file system of our server. But what if we want to use third-party cloud service like Amazon S3? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do in the next episode. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you want to get notified every time when I upload new content, hit the bell icon as well. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron on the Patreon or just go to the gsfullstacker.com and purchase one of my series that I publish there. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next one.